who is unemployed which means that a man is unemployed only when he is both without a job or not employed and also desires to be employed now you don't have a job you are without a job and then you are not employed but you desire to to be employed so in that case the person who do not have a job or who is not employed but he desires to employ all those workers are considered to be as unemployed when the person is ready to work and willing to work at a prevailing wage rate but he does not get the work the classification of unemployment now how do you classify unemployment you classify unemployment into two forms that is your rural unemployment and then your urban unemployment see so you further classify your rural unemployment into two parts that is a disguised unemployment and your seasonal unemployment and in the urban unemployment there is again two types of unemployment number one is the industrial unemployment and your educated unemployment let's understand these completely see rural unemployment means unemployment that is prevailing in the rural areas or the villages of the country now your rural area has two type of unemployment that is disguised unemployment which means that the number of workers re required to do a particular work the more are actually employed than required so disguised unemployment is a situation where in the number of workers engaged in the job is much more than actually required to accomplish let's say in order to cultivate the crop on a field you require seven workers or seven farmers but you have a family of 10 and all 10 uh, people are employed in this single farm so the number of people employed are 10 so in this case your three workers are disguised unemployed in this seven also will have the same produce whereas 10 people are also having the same produce from the land the produce is not increasing whereas three people are more in this employment so this is your actually disguised unemployment second is your seasonal unemployment see another kind of rural uh, unemployment is seasonal unemployment it occurs simply because agriculture is a seasonal occupation just because of agriculture the reason is the agriculture because agriculture is a seasonal occupation during off season of often the farmer workers are out of job they have no work to do the volume of seasonal unemployment depends upon the conditions and method of cultivation in different state so it is estimated that a farmer who grows one crop in a year usually remain unemployed for 5 to 7 months in order to cultivate wheat it requires about 6 months so at the next 6 months the farmer is unemployed just because of the season the, uh, the season is not of with in that case it now it is known as a seasonal unemployment now the urban unemployment see unemployed people are often registered with the employment exchanges which means like your nokki.com you have your shine.com you have these are the employment exchanges these provide you to provide the 
employment or you can talk about the consultancies. So your yeah, urban unemployment means the people living in the urban areas don't get work although they are willing to work. Number one is the industrial unemployment. Which means that it includes those illiterate persons who are willing to work in industries, mining, transport, trade and construction activities. Problem of unemployment in industrial sector has compounded over time because of the rapid rise in population. These are your illiterate person or you can say uneducated person. Who are willing to work in the industries at prevailing wage rates but they do not get the work. The main reason is reason for industrial unemployment is rise in population. The population is continuously rising in India so how much employment will industries give? So. The second is your educated unemployment. In India, the problem of employment among uh, among the educated people is quite grave, which means here the educated people are not getting jobs. It is a problem spread across, across all parts of the country and poses a serious threat to social peace and harmony. So an account of expansion of educational institution, uh, main factor accounting for educated, see uh, what are the factors that have affected these or that has increased these educated unemployment is number one, expansion of educational institutes the educational institutes are increasing the, there are thousand institutes which provides you MBA degree but still MBAs are not getting job because their demand is less whereas their supply is very high in the market then education system in India is not job oriented is not job oriented Then if I talk about uh, increase in the size of educated labor force. The number of educated unemployment registered with employment exchanges has tend to swell. So increase in the employment opportunities are less. Opportunities are less than the size of educated people. So I hope you have completely understood the types of unemployment. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.